Visitors who set foot on those remote shores were easily enchanted by the exotic beauty of the region, by the azure lagoons and white beaches, by the brilliantly colored fish, flowers, and birds, by the soft rustle of palm fronds and the metrical thump of the surf. Sunsets were unlike anything they had seen before, a sublime palette of colors ranging from blue to orange to green to red to purple. Wartime letters, diaries, and memoirs are full of such observations. My name is Ian W. Toll, and I'm a writer and historian. I write about the history of war, and my most recent work was a three-volume history about the Pacific Naval War, including the war in the South Pacific. In March 2023, I will be on the cruise that uh, begins in the Solomons and goes to the Fijis. My role will really be to discuss the history of the Second World War in the South Pacific. My first time visiting the Solomons in 2011 was for research. And my impression was that it's an extraordinarily beautiful place, a very rugged place. Uh, very remote and the scars of the war, even though it had been 70 years earlier from that point, were still very much there. I think it's really important to understand in particular the history of the Second World War. It was, of course, a, a terrible event in which millions died, but it was also the conflict that really shaped the world uh, that we live in today. and. In the South Pacific, uh, these nations um, were, were really sort of brought in to the larger world uh, through this conflict. They were forever changed. And anyone that you meet there, we will meet people on this cruise, will tell you that. Well, Guadalcanal, which is where the cruise begins, was also where the Allied counteroffensive began during the Second World War. It was a long, bloody, protracted struggle for this island in this very remote part of the Pacific. And it was immensely important in the war because uh, eventually the Japanese gave up and evacuated. And that was really sort of the beginning of the end uh, for them. We'll be diving on a wreck in the New Hebrides the SS President Coolidge had been a passenger cruise ship. It had been turned into a troop transport, and it was carrying Army troops into the New Hebrides and struck an American mine. All of the troops got ashore, but the uh, ship went down. And so it's a famous wreck, actually, a famous scuba diving destination. I haven't dived it yet, but from what I understand, it's a terrific dive. One of the things that strikes me as I travel around the Pacific and especially the South Pacific Islands is that the natural beauty really is extraordinary. It compares to the most beautiful places I've seen anywhere in the world. And yet because of the number of islands that there are and how far away they are, many of them are almost entirely undeveloped and have very, very limited population and the population is largely native to the region. Flying there, you really get the sort of visceral sense of just how immense the place is. Blue water, as far as the eye can see, and occasionally a little wisp of an island. That sense of immensity is very much with you when you travel around this region. Wherever I go, uh, traveling around the world, I always try to understand the history of the place better. And in the case of the South Pacific, I have spent so many years of my life studying the history of the Second World War. When I visit these places, I really do feel as if I am seeing and experiencing the history of that war through the eyes of those who were there. And that makes it a much a richer, more personal experience for me.